What's up, YouTube? Happy Good Friday again. Um, so, um, I'm going to tell about this situation where I was spared from a lot of prison time. I mean, this fucking stuff doesn't really happen. You know, normally, I don't know. I mean, you know, crazy shit happens, but this was crazy, okay? So, let me tell you guys. Um, so, I... I'm not exactly sure what happened. Maybe me and Mike had gotten into a fight or something. I know that we must have had a lot of money because I had a lot of dope on me. Um, and for some reason, oh, I said I wasn't going to smoke. I'm going to smoke for this one. Mm. So anyways, so um, for some reason, I left the house. I, well, I was texting with this guy who was like a, like a truck driver and he, you know, they, nobody usually likes to come to Dearborn because Dearborn's fucking crazy. Like nobody, like if you say like to a dealer or something, like I'm in Dearborn, they're like, oh fuck no, we're not coming to you. So, okay. So, so this truck guy, this truck driver guy decided that he was going to come pick me up in Dearborn and, um. I think I was in his truck. I think I was actually in his truck. And I got out. I'm not exactly sure why. We seen the police. Yeah. Or maybe, maybe I never, I don't know. I can't remember if I got in the driver's truck or not. I really feel like I did, but maybe I didn't. It's a little hazy there. Um, I know that the police were driving around and they had seen, this was, they had seen that this guy was trying to, um, like, flag me over to his truck or whatever to try and, you know, lure me to do a date with him or something like that. And, of course, that's what I was already fucking doing because I told the guy to meet me there. So, but he got, he went, he left and everything. And, um, I was walking over to the gas station. That's, that's what happened, yeah. So, that truck guy, he said, oh, no, he said, uh, he's going to leave. So, I'm like, okay, I'll walk to the gas station. So, I walked to the gas station and, um, at that point I go inside the store, I come back out and the police, um, <clears throat> the police are there and they're waiting for me. Okay. And now I had a Starburst, a Starburst wrapper guys. Like, um, like, you know, like that whole, like the whole thing, like the sheaf of Starburst, but it was empty and it's kind of got like that little bit of metal -y, like stuff to it. And, um, you know, like <clears throat> it's kind of, it's kind of thick once the Starburst are out of there. Right. So I had my dope in there and I had like eight packs of heroin and like two packs of crack or something. And, um, I also had a fucking whole bunch of other garbage and shit in my pockets. So <laughs> these cops fucking search me. They find my pipe. That's all they found. Um, they, they, they have this shit in there hands guys they had it in their hands they looked at it they set it back on the they set it on the cop hood of the cop car searched the rest of my pockets and then proceeded to put it all back in my pocket not even knowing that I had all that dope in there okay and they took me to jail then um I'm in Dearborn jail for like two days maybe like three I don't know it was like two days or maybe on the third day I went to court and, um, then went back to my cell, which is just like a holding cell in Dearborn. And they told me that I was going Wayne County. So then they, the, the transport guy comes and they give me my property. That transport guy searched my pockets, man. And he fucking had them Starburst, that Starburst thing in his hands. And he put it back in my pocket. Okay, now, I had just started getting dope sick. So, when he put that shit back in there, and um, I realized that there was no, like, windows or anything on the bathroom, I was like, uh, can I go to the bathroom real fast before we leave? And <clears throat> he's like, yeah, sure. So, I go in the bathroom. I snort up, like, two or three packs of dope, okay? Then I fucking put it all back in my pocket <laughs> and go get out, you know, and, and now I'm not sick anymore. Oh, I was so happy. Anyway, so then I go to Wayne County, right? Wayne County, the same shit happens, guys. They don't fucking find the dope. They just, it just, I don't understand. I don't, I don't get it because 
you'd think that that'd be kind of an obvious place to hide something. I I don't know. If, if I was a cop, I'd be looking through the fucking trash. I, <laughs> I'm just saying. So anyways, in Wayne County, they put all my shit in my property. They search my shit, make sure I got no weapons or nothing. Put it all in property. Then I go there. I'm there for like... <sighs> three, four days, something like that, and I was just so, I was really bad sick, okay, and they took me down to um, the nurses, like the doctor's thing, that's just downstairs, and then from there, me and this other girl, they say, you're going back upstairs, you're leaving, <laughs> and I'm like, what, I'm leaving, are you serious, like, I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm like, this can't happen. This never happens to me. And then the one CEO was like, well, we could put you back in there if you want. I'm like, no, no, no. So then they fingerprinted me out. And um, I had still six packs of dope on me. That's what it was. Yeah, I had six. Maybe I had seven packs. No, maybe I had, maybe I had five packs of dope. Maybe that's what it was. Because I had done three and I had eight. So that's what happened. I had five left. And I still had the two packs of crack. <clears throat> so then I'm like, I don't got no way to smoke this shit. So I'm going to go. And I'm like, they, I get out, man. They let me out. I go to the nearest restaurant. I snort up some fucking dope. And I'm not sick again. And by the grace of God, that shit passed through so many police officers' hands. So many COs' fucking hands. Even the transport guy. Dearborn. All them people. And... And they didn't find it. I just don't... <clears throat> I don't think that that happens every day, you know? Like, um... I was just really, really lucky or blessed or something, you know? Because maybe if they had found that, I'm not sure how much eight packs of dope is. I know that, um... A dime is supposed to be like a sixteenth. Um... I think... Um, it's a 10, 10, you know, 10 bag or 10 sack, you know, whatever. It's just a little dime. It's a dime. Um, so I had eight of them. I'm not sure what that would have weighed. Maybe not even a whole uh, gram. But they probably, maybe it was. 100 packs is a gram. Yeah, 100. 10 for 100. So, so I don't know. I'm not sure how much I would have been, but I sure would have been in a lot of trouble because I was already in trouble. I was already on probation. I was already caught up fucking um, on probation with this felony thing from my stepdad. And they picked me up. Basically, um, I don't think I had a probation violation. I'm, I'm not sure why. Maybe they arrested me because I had the paraphernalia on me. I mean, honestly, that's probably what it was. Mm. And in Wayne County, it's like a revolving door. Like, you go in there, and they let you out within a couple of days, a week tops. Unless you get sent in some more. But if you get sent in some more, and then they still they still want to send you out, they still will. They will fucking let you out early. Now, that never happened to me. Except for one time, they put me on a... Uh, a uh, no, they never put me on a tether in Wayne County. That's right. They sent me to, like, a rehab, and all the other girls there were on tether, and... Um, I ran every time they sent me to a rehab. So, so, but this, this situation, you know, it's like a, like a miracle or whatever. I mean, I don't know how you could say a miracle because, you know, it's drugs, but it is a miracle that I didn't get caught with that stuff, that all those guys had that stuff in their hands and nobody found it. That's, it really does feel like a miracle to me because if I was get caught with that, I probably would have been in prison for like 10 years or something, you know? I mean, as it was, I did do prison time, but not 10 years. Hell no. So, um, I just feel really lucky and blessed to have that happen, you know? Um, when I tell people about it, like a lot of people are like, oh no, that's crazy. There's no way. Oh yeah, it happened. It really happened, <laughs> you know? And um, when I got out and then... Um, I went to this, like, restaurant, and the guy there, um, he had the hats for me or whatever. So he f gave me, like, food for free, and I went in the bathroom and snorted up the rest of the dope. And, um, like, I had been hanging out there with him for a little while, and I think he probably wanted to have sex with me. I did not do that. I told him I had to go, um, and I left, you know. Um, and he, I gave him my number, he gave me his number, and... 
you know, then I went on my way and went and met up with Mike. And he's like, what even happened to you? I'm like, yeah, I was in jail. <laughs> you know? And it's crazy because um, when when I'm... When I was when I was down in when I was in jail, you know that's the thing about going to jail, especially in Wayne County. Jail doesn't help anybody. Jail is just dry time, okay. And when you're in jail, all you're thinking about is getting out and getting high. I would see girls come in, they'd be dope sick, and it would make me want to get high because I'd be like, oh, well, that's never gonna happen to me. I always got enough dope. No, 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 that's not how it goes. You can't. I mean, you know. And now. I mean, you just got to remember that feeling. That feeling sucks so bad. Um, some girl that was hanging out with Ashley, that's a friend of mine, texted me telling me she's dope sick. Okay, that's not something that I really need to hear, that there's dope up here in Oscola. Okay, and, you know, for a second, that shit did enter my mind, like the thought of it. And then I went away as fast as it came because it's been so long. Now, like I said, if it was right in front of me, I don't know what I would do. I don't know that I would be able to turn it down. I would hope that I would put Kyrie's, you know, that I would put Kyrie in my head. And I would think about, I don't want to be away from her. Because, you know, my friend has a daughter and... Obviously, I, you know, I said to her, do you even want to be able to see your kid? Because, you know, I know. I already told her, don't do the shit. I told her, I know where, what it's like. I've been there. I've been down in the gutter and that shit. So don't fucking do it. And she did. So, I don't know. But, yeah. So, it's just, you know, I'll be, I'll be, I, I can share my experience with somebody and I can, I can share, oh, well, this situation, oh, wow, she really got fucking lucky. Well, don't think that that happens to everybody, okay? Because for some reason it happened to me. It was a blessing. That's all I can say. But for for more often than not, if you get caught with stuff, they're not going to tell you to put it out or drop it in the ground or throw it away. No, no, no. That doesn't happen. So, um. I just, I, I feel like it's a crazy experience and really, um, you know, worked out good, but um, all that did was encourage me to keep using. All it did was say, oh, well, you got off so easy. Well, then, you know, it makes you feel like invincible. And you're not invincible. Not ever. So, so, yeah, when I think about those things, I think, wow, like, <laughs> They could have gone so much different, you know. But, but anyways, guys, so, I'm just chilling out here outside. They're doing the church thing inside. It's not that I don't like church. I like to, I like to be in the church service, you know. And I know that we can't do that. Um, and it's nice that we can see it on the computer. But the computer screen's small. And all four of us trying to sit around that thing, my mom, my grandma, me, and my brother, in the computer, the speakers are kind of um you know quiet so whatever it just doesn't really work so well but I mean I can have my own service with you know talk to God myself you know so <clears throat> um yeah <laughs> anyways guys I uh, hope you like my story uh don't let it give you any ideas the only idea it should give you is don't fucking do it <laughs> all right I'll see everyone later have a wonderful good Friday